Welcome everyone to the banks of Lake Michigan, Chicago, Illinois. The city of broad shoulders, the city that works. And inside the United Center, rabid USA basketball fans on hand to watch the homecoming of Derrick Rose. And another Chicago guy, Anthony Davis of the New Orleans Pelicans. But all thoughts, all hearts galvanized and united for Paul George, one of their fallen teammates. It's Brazil, USA, next. On, on behalf of myself, my teammates, USA Basketball, and Brazil, we want to thank you all for coming out. And I personally want to thank USA Basketball for hosting this great event in this great city because here, uh, what's going on here is bigger than basketball. You got, Kyle, you got kids that's li um, losing their life. And um, I hope that everybody recognizes it and this is huge for the city. So thank you to your whole USA staff. Thank you. A heartfelt message, a poignant one for so many reasons from Derrick Rose. Well, let's take a look now at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Nike. Huertas Barbosa in the backcourt for Brazil. Marquinhos, Thiago Splitter of the world champion San Antonio Spurs. And Nene up front for the Brazilians, ranked number 10 in the world. Meanwhile, for the United States, Derrick Rose and Steph Curry in the backcourt. James Harden, Kenneth Fareed, and Anthony Davis up front for the United States as USA controls the tip. And the roar you hear for Derrick Rose. It's how important that the United States play a fast-tempoed game. Play. I think it's going to be the strength of their team, Mark, because uh, they've got shooting and, si and size and quickness in that backcourt, guys like this. They're shooting James Harden off for Reed. Great hustle, but fouled by Nene on the attempt and put back. And Fareed will go to the free throw line. That is what he's in there to do. A great offensive Nene. rebounder this year for the Denver Nuggets. Pick and roll. Arcelino inside. Oh, Splitter with a nice Nene. roll to the basket. And we're tied at two. You can see and sense the chemistry the Brazilians have already. Fareed on the drive. Nice dump down to Davis. I want to tell you now, Fareed is not your classic international four man. But with the uh, absence of guys like Kevin Love and Kevin Durant, Reed's energy will really help this team. Curry, a sniper from downtown, knocks it down. Nobody made more three-pointers this year in the NBA than that guy right there, Steph Curry. That's good passing right there. Another good dime inside and splitter with another uncontested dunk. Curry turns it over. Here's Barbosa in transition against Rose. Well defended, but Barbosa gets the layup to go. Harden wasn't ready for the pass. And the United States turns it over. Barbosa inside and tipped up and in and that's part of the FIBA rule that you might not be familiar with once the ball hits it is live either the defense or offense exactly. to knock it out Reed with another offensive stick back in good good ball movement by the Brazilians Barbosa can't cash in and here come the United States Curry stare down three and nothing but net Steph Curry actually that was a long two 42% from downtown this year for the Golden State Warriors. And he's ready. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis on that roll. Nice dime by James Harden. Let's say leading by three. Curry. Step back. Boy, he's feeling pretty good. And Fran, therein lies one of the understated parts of his game, his ability to handle, right? Mark, I got a chance to work with Steph Curry this summer at the Under Armour Steph Curry Select Camp. The guy is a workout maniac. Okay, guarding an A. Great hustle by Curry getting on the deck. Look at that passing right there. From his seat, and a foul, and one. What they're doing right now, these exhibition games, these friendlies, is just trying to figure out role de delineation, uh, how much guys can play, how good a shape they're in. Great block by Rudy Gay. He's obviously in good shape. And over by Brazil, USA on the run. Thompson on the move. Lobs up. Davis with the punch. Oh, he caught a body that time. Nice find by Clay Thompson. One of those guys that, uh, you know, you hear, you read the blogs, he's going to get cut. You know what? This guy is a defender. He's a scorer. I think he'll be a great teammate, great role player in Spain. Oh, man. Run, man. What a tip by Anthony Davis. 
The Chicago kid making a homecoming. Now off the steal. Kyrie Irving with the layup. Little full court pressure right there. Sloppy play by Huertas. Look at Kyrie. Kyrie played 10 minute periods. Irving with the dime to Plumley. You remember what David Black, the new coach of the Cavs, told us, Mark, in Vegas? He watched Kyrie Irving defend for five minutes, and he said, who said he can't guard? He rips another Brazil guard. Huertas turned it over. A Thompson with the trigger. Plumley with the follow. Remember what we saw in Las Vegas? Plumley was on the select team of rent players. Great block by Fareed, but Splitter followed it up. And they, they moved him from the select team to the national team with the thought process that they needed 20 guys to practice. And he was so impressive, Mark, that there's talk that he could make this team as a defensive type stopper. And Larry Taylor had his jumper blocked. Berjau with a good hustle in the loose ball. There's a one second difference as Garcia pulls the quick trigger. And now the United States with a chance for one shot. Three seconds to go. Harden out top with a cross. It'll count. And off the mark, but a pretty good first quarter for the United States. What do you make of the way they're playing offensively and defensively? Give us, put your color analyst hat on and tell us what you think so far as Rose missed the layup. I think they look good, man, for, uh, you know, for everybody doubting us not being a, a, a heavy offensive team with, you know, with the guys we have. I mean, I think they're wrong. KD was hitting me up about, you know, playing one-on-ones and making each other better, so... Um, you know, we had the chance to do it after practice. You know, James came over. James wanted to be a part of it. You know, we have to kind of get to the next level. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about getting better. And, uh, you know, it was just a great company to be, you know, be able to play one-on-one for it. Yeah, you guys should have charged money for those uh, <laughs> King of the Hill games. They were pretty exciting. Here's Irving. Now, that's a blow-by in every sense of the word. Lino, the point guard, was outstanding, as you pointed out earlier. And in 2010, it took a missed free throw by Marquinhos. Hey! Nice feed inside. Irving, the and one. And Kenneth Fareed is really having an impact in this game with his determination. I like the Pelicans uh, this year with Ashik coming aboard to play center. And Honey Williams on the coaching staff and Splitter with a nice move against Davis. And this is a two-point game. Tiago Splitter, the first Brazilian to win an NBA championship. 18 to six Brazil run. Here's Thompson on the drive. Couldn't finish over in an A, but a blocking foul called against Brazil. Curry missing the deep shot. And Fareed with another great hustle play and a rebound for USA. That's why he'll make the team. Thompson on the drive, got swallowed, but found Plumley underneath. That's why he might make the team. Splitter on the drive. Iago Splitter, a key component in San Antonio's championship run this year, he's got 10. D. Rose going to try to go wing to the court. Watch the white jersey, just try to corral him. Watch, uh, see Giovanoni. He has that some kind of different speed, though. That's working. Derrick Rose. Ain't working. Back in kind, responding here in Chicago. With time to spare. <laughs> well, that looked like Usain Bolt with the basketball. <laughs> They were about two weeks away from their first game in the inaugural FIBA World Cup, August 30th against Finland. They will be featuring, of all people, Drew Gooden, we're told. Yep. Eric Murphy as well, both of their minds. A finished descent. Keep it simple. Hit singles. Don't try to hit triples and homers right now. Here's Fareed over splitter. Boy, he has made yep. a great impact tonight. Knocked the ball loose there, comes up with the steal. He is a picture of activity, and it leads to a layup by Curry at the other end. Fareed started it, though, defensively, Frank. Huertas on the drive. The floater good. He's got that shot down. He's one of the Steve Nash of world in basketball. There's a foul as Rose drove to the bucket, fouled by Splitter. When you think about Varejao and Splitter, we talked about it. They've been together 12 years on the international stage playing together. Davis stepping out and knocking down another mid-range jump shot. You know, Mark, in the, in the final four, when he was a, a, a freshman in Kentucky, he to operate inside, can't do it. But he hit a left-handed jump hook and a right-handed jump hook in the final four in, in like a, a quick sequence. I don't understand where people ever thought that he wasn't skilled, Anthony Davis. Huertas in transition. He drops a dime to Verjao for a nice layup. That's what they do. Huertas. 
Hey, you know where he played his senior year of high school, right? Somewhere in your neighborhood. Right? Right. Played at Capel High School in Dallas, Texas. And Fareed fouled on the play. You know, it says a lot about a guy to answer the call when your country calls. And Rudy Gay, in the wake of that Paul George injury, hardly the floater, didn't think twice about, you know, putting a uniform on. I, I think it's great for him. Barajal on the drive through the defense. You notice how good Barajal and Splitter are at the foul line? Thompson off the screen. Nice floater in the lane, good. A simple little pin down, curl into the lane. Jerry Colangelo pointing out that he's been in the program for the last seven years, friend. You can understand him being fatigued, right? Well, here's what he's done. The last five years, he's played almost 99% of the Thunder's regular season games, not including playoffs, USA basketball, Rudy Gay in that follow. Wow. And you know what, Mark? I wish he would have done it a little bit earlier, like before training camp. Ato probing the lane. Verjao with four on the shot clock. they got to get to work quickly. Ato knocks down the three. Hey, four years ago, we watched this young guy. I think he was 19. He looked like a deer. Jazz have his rights. Just don't have room for him right now. Look at that. Yeah, he's not guarding Derrick Rose, though. No, he's not. <laughs> no one is right now. Tell you what, that guy is quicker than gossip, folks. Derrick Rose with the blow by in the Windy City. Well, he's playing fearlessly, too, which is exactly what you want to see. Irving on the crossover. And gets the shot over his Cleveland Cavalier teammate, Verzhak. Seven on the shot clock. That's the guy you don't want to leave open. Thompson knocks yep. down the three. Garcia on the move. Tipped up and out. Knocks loose. Davis crashes into the stands. Goes over the top. The ball still live. Davis okay, the three ball no good. Farajal missing the stick back. Gotta stop it, stop the game right here. And Anthony Davis careened and caromed two rows deep. Here's one more look at it. Nato and him going for the loose ball. Look at the hustle. You think Coach K had his heart in his throat right there? Taylor on the drive, blocked by Davis. That's what he gives you defensively. Watch out. It's a three on one, Harden. Takes it all the way and one. And he gets an up-close look at the fans. Anthony Davis was on the other end of that. Hello, Chicago. Hello, the world. <laughs> because that's what I think you're going to see in Spain. Congratulations to Coach Showalter of USA Basketball in the yep. under-17 World FIBA champions going undefeated. They yeah. won in Dubai. Yep. Feeding Australia today in the final. Davis with another long jumper. He has 18 points in the game and seemingly now friend. Maybe it was that dive into the stands. He looks ready to take on a real leadership role here. And great defense by the United States. They've hit the switch here. Harden with the move and he's so good at <laughs> extending his arms and drawing that foul. He is old school right there. Harden with a tough shot. Davis with the tip. Davis with the stick back. Relentless, indefatigable effort by Anthony Davis now with 20 points in the game. And that cheer you hear, what else? Derrick Rose coming into the ball game. With 5.20 to go, here comes Derrick Rose. That's been the highlight of the night for me is to see Derrick Rose from start to finish feel the passion of this United Center crowd. There's not a statue out there just yet, Mark. There may be someday. Anthony Davis got shaken up a little bit. I think he might have got hit a little bit below the belt. There's uh, Clay Thompson. And now the United States starting to knock down its three-pointers. You know, Manu Ginobili was great about that with splitter because Manu had played with all those Argentines, Mocioni and Trigioni. Harder knock, hard knocks it down, but how about this? All those Argentine guys played with Splitter in Spain. Thompson can't find it tonight. Fareed can inside. Boy, he has been one of the most valuable players tonight. Thompson double teamed. No, that's, see, that's just sloppy play. Last three USA possessions yeah. have been empty. Huertas, nobody to give it to, so decides to bank it home. Fittingly, Derek Rose here with time winding down. Homecoming game for D. Rose. Seven points. And still getting back into the flow. And that's it. 
40 minutes in the books and the USA with its first friendly coming to an end. Victors 95 to 78. Anthony Davis with 20 points and a homecoming for him.